what is up everybody welcome to another episode of t-chat outdoors me t-chat we got handy shandy and we are on our way to do our first overnighter on ice this season so we are hoping that the snow isn't too bad that it's not too slushy and that we can catch lots of fish so i guess we'll see how it is we're not sure we've heard there's lots of slush but hopefully we can find a spot where we can settle down avoid it and get fishing so uh, this video we're going to go through how our setup is we're going to go through what we use we're going to go through how to stay warm overnight and how to have a good time how not to have a miserable time like we did last year but so stick with us hope this is a good video hope you guys enjoy it we'll see you out on the ice boom we made it truck is dirty Real dirty, but we made it, and we're gonna have us a good time. We gotta pack our stuff up, haul it out now, and get out to the lake. The lake's way over there. We're gonna camp way over here. somewhere over there. So, yeah, this is gonna be fun. Got a lot of crap to haul out. No snowmobile. Here we go. We are all loaded up. Now we gotta make the trek. Here is all of our crap. I got the big sled. Little sled attached to the medium sled. Luckily, this one's on skis, so hopefully, that'll help. But Shane's got his little backpack polar. So, here we go. Let's hope this isn't bad. Hopefully, we don't kill ourselves. But it'll be worth it in the end. We love doing this, and that's why we do it. So, we're out here trying to find a spot. Had a couple marks, I had one bite. I wasn't paying attention, I was trying to mess with my transducer. And added a fish on. <laughs> so, I'm gonna see if we can get another bite. We found solid ice with just a little slush. So, we're hoping we can mark a couple more fish and call it good here. But, I feel like the first drop always has a fish, but it doesn't mean there's always a fish in the spot. Call it. I think this might be one of your best spots for sludge because yeah. it's. So it's either that. We, we haven't marked, fallen through yet. We marked one fish, so. Oh, we got one on you. Got one on you, Shandy. Get him. There he is. Get a boy. Got a boy. Nice cutty. Got a boy. That's a orange one. I think that was our sign to stay here. <laughs> Not a nice first cutty. Well done, Shandy. Well done. Looks like a bow almost. I know. What's your problem, dude? He's stuck in the slot. Oh! This is what we're using. This is what I call. Come here. Come here, buddy. This is the T-Chad Special. It's called a Power Nymph, made by Powerbait. Tipped with a VMC jig head. Love it. All right, so we just got the tent up. A few things about this tent, the Outbreak 850XD. So it has this non-trip door, which is amazing. We love it. There's two things with it. There's these two poles. One right here, one right here. These are collapsible, just like tent poles. And it goes in the spot up here and the spot down there. Same thing on that side and this side. That's to help hold the door open. Uh, since we are staying the night, there's two things we're doing. We have these straps down and all of them on all sides just to help hold it. And then I got the shovel out and I'm shoveling in all of the, the corner of the bottoms to make sure no heat comes in. So, yeah, hopefully we can stay nice and warm. I'll show you what Shandy's doing now.
Candy has these mats that roll out. And, and we have some squares. And we're putting these on the bottom to keep the warmth from coming through the ice. So hopefully we can stay warm that way too. Um, it's good to flatten down and do all you can. So. All right, well, I think we're settled in. Shandy caught a fish. Um, he caught two fish. Um, we got the camp, the underwater camera set up. We got our transducer set up, got our cross set up. So here in a little bit, I'll give you a little bit of a tour, show you how we have things, what things we have. Um, and definitely need things you're needing while camping on the ice. So we're gonna do a little bit of fishing now, see if we can catch anything. Um, it's three o'clock right now, so it's not really a bite time, but we'll try. We'll see what we can catch. Uh, we've marked a handful of cutties, but that's about it. So life's good right now. Life is good. Oh, I missed him again. He's not taking it. Don't get my mats wet. Good boy. Good boy. Ah, yeah. That's just a little guy. Okay, I'm just pushing that. Put this one down. was a mad slap. Con 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 boy. Good boy. Dinner bite is on. Okay, nowhere. <sighs> nice, beautiful dinner cutthroat. But we're releasing him. We're not eating him for dinner. It's probably 14, 15 pounds. An inch. <laughs> yeah, 14, 15 pounds. Big fish. <laughs> Go down, buddy. <laughs> we got the board up. I'm at three. Trying to catch a fish. All right, just drop him down with a hooker. No worm. See if I can catch another one. Just sitting. Oh, 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 oh! Got one. <laughs> I'm just trying to get things ready for dinner. Come on, man, you're getting the slippers wet. Don't get the slippers wet. Some beautiful cutties up out here this year. All right, so we're all set up. We've been fishing. We caught a handful of fish. It's pretty slow for a while, but as expected, we're now getting the dinner bite. So we're marking some fish. We're catching some fish. We're about to cook dinner, but before I do that. Show you around the tent, show you some things that we use, some things that we have, some important things to take when camping on the ice. 
um, some go-tos, some make sures, and hopefully this helps you guys when you go out. So I'll start on my side, and then I'll go over Shandy's. So first thing off, got the heater. I have the Buddy Flex and the cooker. Um, really like that. Uh, I put it on a grate just to keep it elevated so that it's not melting the snow, not melting the water, um, making it water in here so that you don't wake up in a pool. I have it on low right now. Shandy has the big buddy. He has his on low right now. And what temperature are we at, Shandy? 50. We're at 50 degrees right now, so it's pretty warm in here. The other day we had two in, and we were at 64 degrees, so it's warm. For it only being 10 degrees outside right now, 50 degrees is pretty warm in here. Um, got a table. Under the table, I just have a little box of random things, assortment things. Things that I don't really know where to put, so I put them in there. Um, on the table, we have plates, forks for cooking dinner, uh, a bowl, using the bowl to cook some water to pour into our MREs. We have some Mountain House ones tonight. So I got beef stroganoff and noodles, and Shandy's got a stir fry. So we'll see how that goes. Um, I have a big Stanley jug. Um, this is just to bring waters to drink, to cook some tea, cook some dinner. Um, it's always good to have. Um, I believe that's a five gallon, four gallon. I'm not sure what it is. I'm probably lying. So yeah, another thing I have on the table, this is important when you go to sleep, is a carbon monoxide alarm. So I put this right next to my face <laughs> because that's where I'm gonna be breathing. So if it detects and there's not much oxygen in the air, there's too much propane in the air. It'll go off. Um, Shandy's got one on his side to do the same thing. Yeah. Um, we have some Duracell batteries or lights up here. It's probably really bright. And then up top, we also have just little lights that are connected with this little remote. So it's great because I can just go off on that way when we wake up in the morning or wake up when we have a fish on with our jaw jacker i just hurry pop this on rather than trying to stand up figure out where the button's at and yeah should be nice all right with the cot we got just a regular cot from cabela's i have a pad underneath on the pad i just have a blanket just to keep it insulated um got a sleeping bag mummy bag blanket over that and this chair. So this chair is built to be on cots. It just has a little hook on the bottom. It folds up. It makes it super nice if you're fishing like this because then you don't have to bring a chair. You have a backrest. It's great. So um, on the ground, we got some mats. This is just to keep water off. As you can tell, we've been catching fish, so fish have been getting water on. But this is to help cold water or the cold air not come up through the ice so we can hopefully be warmer in here i have my rod case I hold all my rods my tackle I've got my boots that's basically all basically all my stuff um shandy's got pretty similar things he has a cot got the chair got his heater um his transducer has got we have a camera it's pretty fun to get some footage off of that and his tackle so yeah let me know if you got any questions about any of this stuff where i got it where where you can get it i'm going to list it all in the bio below but reach out to me if you do have any questions i can hopefully help it most important thing we got though is over here is that board just wanted you to recognize that i, I am ahead right now five to two that is to keep track of who's catching the most fish, and I am right now. Shandy had the lead for a little bit, but I'm just nice and letting him think he can get ahead. So, yeah. We're going to cook some dinner now. Maybe do a little bit of fishing before then, and we're going to enjoy the night. What do we got? Chicken fried rice? How much do we need of this one? One and a half? Hopefully little dances. Nice and steamy. You want to 
not used to anything. One and two thirds. Yeah, I definitely know my differences. One and one third and one and two third. This is how you measure. You pour it in. One cup, two thirds. Yeah, I had one on it hard. Hit it, dude. Going down the hole, you broke my line off. Pina, hey, yeah, boy. These pug bugs are good. They should be better. Get them up. Good job, double. Is that a rainbow? I think that's a rainbow. Yeah, that's a rainbow. Good job, Shandy. Way to get something different. Noodles are kind of chewy, but it's not bad. Wow, oh, he's falling. He's falling. Yep. Got myself a dinner. Dinner fish. Hey, I have a good one right now. He's going in the hole. <laughs> Look at the That's my favorite. That was a dinner fish. Saw them up a little higher and I was like, I'll see if they follow. And they followed. And they followed through. <laughs> It's like the littlest cutty I've caught all day on the biggest thing. I guess that's all it takes. Using this big ol' orange chartreuse glowing tube jig. They're going crazy for it. Before I was just using a little tungsten jig. Tip them with millworm, and they were going crazy, but it kind of slowed down. They weren't, it was all over them, but they weren't doing anything. Getting comfy here. We're fishing comfy. Oh yeah, there's a bunch down there. We're gonna get a chaser again. I got one off! <laughs> I just dropped it to the bottom. He did the rest. This one's not one to come up though. He's a 
loud one. Yeah, that's a good one, Shandy. Shandy, that's a good one. That's my biggest for today. At the 20 year. At my. Oh, yeah, that's a big one, Shandy. <laughs> Holy I told you, big. Big dig, kid, big fish. <laughs> <laughs> trying to lay down and take a nap. <laughs> All I did was drop to the bottom and I was like, wait. <laughs> this is what we just landed. Big old tube jig dropped to the bottom and he just slurped it up. That's all I'm talking about. I just didn't tie that knot good enough so I'm surprised it stayed. Because it just slid out and didn't even snap or anything. Got one? <laughs> the hook, you just drop it down and they suck it up. Oh. <laughs> you didn't set the hook. <laughs> I didn't think there was anything on it. <laughs> I know, that's what I've been thinking too. <laughs> Cutthroat after cutthroat after cutthroat after cutthroat, so kind of gets old, but it's fun. We're probably about 40 fish right now between the two of us, so I think I'm gonna reel up and call it a night. So we'll see you in the morning. Well, good morning. We're awake. Didn't sleep great last night, I was in and out. But finally fell asleep about four o'clock, and now it's seven o'clock. Slept in a little bit longer than I was thinking. So, Shane's cleaning up a little. I'm gonna fish a little. We got fish on the radar, so now I'll cook some breakfast and maybe pack up a little more. And yeah, I guess we'll see. Here we go. Another four footer. Give me my plastic bag. Let go. First cutty in the morning. Oh, I missed him. I got his lip. Oh, he's coming back. Autumn. All time, I guess. I don't want the big stuff. Hey, don't get on my plate. Come back this way. Another cutty. What a dive. He went straight down. Nice and shiny. Very, very shiny. Oh, he just attacked the camera. <laughs> you gonna have mine? You gonna have mine? Got him. Oh, <laughs> shoot. <laughs> that was pretty cool. He came and hit the camera, and then he went straight down to mine. Did you see that? <laughs> Thanks for giving me some entertainment, bud. Well, you guys, I think that is a wrap for this video. Fishing's been pretty slow this morning. And we have a lot of stuff to haul out, so... 
we're gonna do it in two trips because we don't want to carry all this crap up a hill <laughs> so we're gonna do it in two and see if that helps um, but yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this video we're hoping to do some more overnighters here in the near future if you have any suggestions of what we could do better things you want to see in them hopefully more bigger fish caught in them and yeah so this is our 850 outbreak Eskimo uh, tent that we're in we loved it did us well so stay tuned with us next time if you haven't hit that subscribe button hit it hit that like button and we'll see you guys next time Yeah, baby. Wrong way. It's in the net, man. Heck yeah, sent. <laughs>